Hey there. Uh, trying to uh, continue on uh, being accountable to the promise I made uh, to mom about uh, just showing her kindness and uh, the things she does. And there's a lot of stuff going around the internet of uh, paying it forward and uh, what we do for people and, and whatnot. And it's kind of thinking about mom's model. How many times uh, um, she gave grace when uh, when it probably wasn't deserved. And so what this video is about is doing something the way she would do this. And uh, here's a little story. So after after mom's passing is down, uh, spent time with family down in Alabama, and with uh, with my aunt Kim, and her and uh, uh, her boyfriend and another friend, and we were uh, at a at a restaurant. I'm not gonna say the restaurant because this isn't about trying to badmouth somebody or trying to make a thing uh, to embarrass someone, but. Um, this really falls along with that whole checklist and, and mentality of education that, uh, that I'm really passionate about. And the situation was this. So we're getting our food. It's, it, was just, it was just poor service all the way around. And without going into all those little details, the one that was the deal breaker, though, was where uh, she brought over the water glasses and basically took the water glass. Um, and I, I'm watching her, I'm watching the waitress here, and she notices something in it, and she sticks her finger in it, and is like flicking, flicking stuff out of the water glass. Kind of looked at it again, and shrugged her shoulders, picks up the water, and, and brings them to the table. And I'm just like, whoa, you got to be kidding me. You know, I, holy cow, I mean, I don't know you. I don't know if you have an infection or this or that. You don't know me. You don't know... Um, um, what could happen to me or my current health situation? And I was just like, you're in, you're in, you're in food service. You should know this. This is that whole thing. And, you know, I, I have a series on our YouTube channel called Every Mechanic Should Know. And I think, do do I need to start one that says every staff's you know uh, food preparation person should know? I, I, this is exactly what I've talked about time and time again about teaching people technical trades, whether it's it's culinary, whether it's uh, nursing, whether it's uh, welding, mechanical, you name it. Students, there are things that you should just know. Every day you should not have to turn to an operations manual and know that you should not stick your finger in food and, and serve it that way. I mean, it's tough. So you can kind of feel maybe some of the energy and, and struggle behind my voice. And then mom's little face comes ringing in and says, Shane, Shane, look at the situation. And so as my family, uh, all of us were there being pretty hard on this uh, this young waitress. I, I don't know how old she was. I'm thinking early 20s. And uh, I saw the fear in her eyes. I saw the sadness. I saw the, the hurt. And uh, I just was kind of almost like I sat back out of myself and thought, wow, look at these four people being pretty dang hard on this young girl and I kind of went back to the checklist book of you know why we do the things we do and I thought is there a possibility she doesn't know there's a possibility she doesn't know about even peanut allergies or whatnot what if you know she stuck her finger in peanuts earlier and then touched the water and then drank it and there's a problem I mean who knows it, it just it's not worth the risk right so is everybody was kind of yelling at her about the service and this and that I <clears throat> I stopped and I stopped everybody and I, I just simply asked her this I said do you care do you care? Just want to know if you care. And as she was tearing up, she said, yeah, I do. And, and I believe her. I really do. I don't think this was intentional. I don't think it was out to hurt someone. I think it was just maybe a lack of understanding. So after we left, uh, of course, you know, we called even uh, my, my family, even called corporate, was pretty hurt by this. We got a lot of pain right now over the loss of my mom and people making mistakes. And we all got a story, right? So with that in mind, uh, I really got to thinking, I don't want to kill this girl's spirit. When someone disappoints us or someone uh, <clears throat> doesn't do something the way we do it, man, I just don't think it's our role to just kill their spirit without the opportunity to find out if they're genuine. And uh, for this waitress, um, I really believe she's genuine. I believe she you know, um, has a heart. I don't know, it's just a gut feeling, I guess. So kind of thought about that and uh, what I decided to do, and mom, this is for you because I love you. I miss you. hope you're dancing away up there in heaven. I know you are. But uh, not want to 
and this isn't meant to show off or something. I hope this plants a seed of encouragement for people to go do this for other people. Uh, I've been such a judgmental jerk and, and really tough for a lot of years, and this is a big change. This is hard for me to do. This is not easy. Uh, but got the gal a little card, and uh, <clears throat> I want to read this to you guys just to give you an idea of what I think this might look like, at least it'll look like for me, and, and maybe this is my pay it forward uh, for mom's gift of, of grace and kindness or whatnot. But, you know, I put her name, and then I just put, this is from the family. I had a bad experience Monday night. I hope this card finds you in a better place. I'm sure it was not easy to hear the disappointment from us. I saw the hurt in your eyes and felt your uncomfortableness. I want to encourage you that through tough times comes growth. Uh, may you bless the other employees and future customers with great service and safe food practices. Uh, you had a wonderful smile when we first sat down. Um, start there, never stop learning, and make it a great day. And then I put in memory of my mom. I, I, I don't know, but I know that if at times in my life that I made a, a dumb choice or mistake, if someone would have came alongside me and uh, maybe gave me some encouragement instead of just all the negativity, those situations might have looked a little different. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes we need our butts kicked to uh, to learn about something to get it to stick in. So I don't know. It's kind of a mix-up. But I definitely know that as I move forward, I you know, I, I don't have any intention that I'm out to hurt people. I'm out to make them feel less than. And uh, I think to this young gal, I think that she has an opportunity just to have an amazing career and, and life and opportunity in front of her by taking this and turn it into a lesson that she can uh, even pass on to other people. So anyway, God bless and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and your comments. And uh, uh, once again, in memory of uh, Jerry Conley, love you.